well, okay. Firstly, you know, I asked Susie, his wife, and I'm like, I'm like, why does, why do people hate him so much? You know, as opposed to maybe other people in his position. And, you know, she just said, I think it's because he's so confident. You know, he just, he just is who he is and lives, exists in the world with total honesty and really doesn't care. And that drives mm-hmm. people absolutely insane. And I think that's a big part of it. Another part of it, I think, is that he, there's a reason why like media matters in these places. Like they hired like entire assassination squads to do nothing but watch his show and then cut like five seconds of a 15 minute beautifully crafted monologue, cut out five seconds and then say he's a racist and you have to boycott his show. And I think a reason for that is, is because if, if liberals, like real liberals, not, you know, devout communists who are very open about what they believe, which is, you know, what they believe, but real liberals, if they were to sit down and, and watch his show, they would find themselves absolutely agreeing with him on, on many things. If maybe not his approach, which would maybe grow, grate them the wrong way, you know, he, he grates very polite people the wrong way. But um, <laughs> like the fact that he represents so much of what the left used to be identified by and still sort of wishes they were but certainly aren't and they don't even pretend that they are those things anymore those things being anti-war pro-free speech anti-corporatist you know uh those i think are three big things that define his show and his audience uh and his outlook that if the left admitted that he's the biggest voice of that and that is more aligned with the right today it drives them crazy they can't so they they have to smear him and hate him and fear him um, his biggest, weirdly enough, I think like a staple on this TV show was always the disaffected liberal and, you know, who had some, and, and I was one of them, my first appearance, the liberal who gets cast out of, of liberal society, uh, or who leaves the left that that was always a staple on his show. And it was also a huge staple in his audience. And he also had the highest ratings of uh, 25 to 54 year old Democrats in all of cable news. More 25 to 54 year old Democrats were watching his show than were watching MSNBC. That's like scary stuff. That's why he has to be like constantly maligned as the worst person in the world. And then when you meet him and you like figure out what he's really like, um, it couldn't be further from the truth, obviously. If you take a, a random lefty and pluck him out of the crowd and say, Why do you hate Tucker Carlson? they would say, Because he's a racist. Yeah. He's a transphobe. Like, that's what they would say, obviously. And then you'd say, Really, what did he say? And they would say, Well, I, one time. And then they would fumble and maybe think of some two second clip they saw completely out of context, but they wouldn't know. Obviously yeah. they would have no clue. It's, it's like the exact same with Donald Trump. I think one of the reasons why they probably really hate him is that he's again, like so confident, but that approach that he um, so successfully mocks the left and he's always having a good time and laughing, you know, like they, they do not like to be mocked. Like they do not like to be mocked. <laughs> it really drives them crazy. They don't have a great sense of humor. They do either. not have a good sense of humor. <laughs> they really don't want to be mocked. And, um, and, and whenever someone successfully does that, of course, it's a, it's, it's a, a tailspin. It's a six alarm fire. Uh, so, I mean, the reason why they actually hate him, it, it's, it's, you know, he even, it's so funny. He said something to me for the book, you know, he, he you know, we're just sort of talking about like, um, just this sort of changing political paradigm. And I think, mean, I mean, Tucker Carlson's kind of a figurehead and at the center of a lot of these things that are changing both in the media landscape where, you know, independent media is, I think eclipsing mainstream media in terms of relevance and significance now. And also in the political landscape where Tucker's very much at this place where left and right don't really mean the same anymore. Democrat and Republican don't liberal conservative don't. And Tucker's always been this kind of, he describes himself as a civil, a civil libertarian, uh, which is, you know, I always thought we're kind of like what everyone is supposed to be like a live and let live person without believing in like libertarian policies of like open borders or unfettered, capitalism or whatever um but uh you know he's always kind of been the same person perhaps become more galvanized in certain areas and on certain issues um but i think that again i think that it's the reason why they really hate him so much is he holds a mirror up to the left in a way that no one else really can or has or at least um with that kind of platform you know he really shows them where they're failing and where they pretend to be certain things uh and of course they're the exact opposite um, I think like his like the fact that he was so critical of corporatism in the most corporate of settings on Fox News, yeah. you know, and the only voice to do that. Uh, you know, I thought that like I grew up like the left was like always like distrustful of big business. and The right was distrustful of government. And then in the middle, you had supposedly a, a nice society. And now it's the left is all in for big business and big government. And then it's everyone else who's cast 
aside who are gravitating towards people like Tucker or Trump or, you know, any of these other voices that are just kind of like, like the leave me the hell alone party and like the anti BS party, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. like the anti corruption party. Um, that's what the truth I can think party. Of. The truth party, because liberals have all become, they're all rich now and fat and happy and they're all hypocrites. And, yeah. uh, you know, he, he knows those people so well he, that they don't like being reminded of what they pretend to be versus what they really are.